Hello, Girl Space. This is my name is Luis, and I'm from Pachin Panda. And I'm glad to present you our new module, Particles. I'm glad you are here, and we are all here in Superboot. Thank you, Girl Space, again, to show up. And our module, Particles, is over here. Is our new module, which is a module that will enhance the possibilities of your sequencers. Basically, it has a trigger and a clock input, and this will uh, send four, four triggers. We have four triggers independently in the, each channel. And with a clock, we're gonna sequence uh, how the triggers will happen. And also, we have a CV out from each stage. This way, we can send our triggers to our VCA, and we can uh, uh, adjust the CV out to open our FM from each VCO. I'm gonna show you a demonstration. So, for example, I'm gonna send some triggers here. You will decide from a sequencer where the triggers will happen. And now I'm gonna take the output one, and because I multiply this voltage, I can tell the sequencer no, our VCO, that's gonna happen this sound, our B next VCA will happen this sound, our next is gonna happen this, this sound, and our next this one. It has a reset button too. And now, if we, if we have some sequencing going, we can add some burst. But the burst, normally, the repetitions, you can control if you want to hear musically or not. Because if you are not musical, it's going to happen some chaos of repetitions. But here, as you can see, I'm ignoring the third repetitions, the sixth, the fifth, the seventh, and then the rest until the sixteenth. So when you have uh, the repetitions going, it's going to sound musical. You have a clock divider for the repetitions. So if I put some, like these repetitions, and then I change the clock divider, this will spread the repetitions. I will send some CV. But now, let's... You can mute its repetitions in the live. I'm gonna put some randomize. You can put probability amount of the repetitions that happens. You have glide per channel. So, but the, the, the cool thing is like if you have control where the repetitions to happen. So now if I extend my sequencer to four, so every four, it's gonna, they're gonna happen these repetitions. That's gonna wait and then happen. Tac, 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 tac. You can see. So you have control where to happen these repetitions too. So when you bring the, all the rest of your sequence, you will hear the repetitions from your sequencer. You have different ways to trigger the clock this to clock this uh, sequence so it can it can trigger by every step of the trigger so you send triggers now it's stop but when you receive the trigger it's gonna again clock or you can trigger with the burst with the repetitions so you have different uh, kind of ways to have this uh, randomness of bursts a very performative way to make your own uh, vibrations and your own sounds too. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming and I'm glad uh, to be working again here in Superwood and thank you guys, Gear Space, and see you soon.